Hello, what's up, everyone? My name is Yusuf from Caspec, and in today's video, I'm here with this beautiful machine, the Toyota Mark II. So, I'm going to be showing you some of the functions it has, and also the experience I've had with it for three good years. So, without further ado, let's hit the B-roll. So, today I'm going to be showing you some of the functions this Toyota Mark II has and also the experience I've had it with three years and the things you should look out for when buying this Toyota Mark II. This is a 2000 model and it's an anniversary edition. So, but they are the same no matter the uh, edition or what. They, they, they share the same engine. It's a 1G. FE so as we start here the headlights those headlights they are really nice but to be sincere with you is that these headlights uh, they they tend to lose brightness when you are driving this car if they take so long without you cleaning them they might look shiny outside, but when they are not uh, clear for you at night. So, the so solution to this, if they tend to get dimmer, you just need to buy new headlights. And uh, another thing is that the disadvantage is that uh, this machine over here the side mirrors so <laughs> I don't know how this fun is but these side mirrors if you are like a short person <laughs> you will get problem problems with this um, you see this this curve over here there is the way it becomes a blind spot for someone whereby you can't see the, the the whole back side yeah you just your eyes will just end here you can't see here so you'll have to use the the other rear view mirror to take a look here so that you can see at the back very very well and also this uh, particular car you'll have problems with the parking space <laughs> because of the way it it is long you'll have so much problems parking in the city 
yeah it will be a lot of headache and also the other thing that i can talk about in the front at the front side here is that uh the suspension parts on this car like the bushes all those uh when you when you add them all together for this uh, particular car is that uh, they tend to to worn out very quickly so <laughs> you'll also have a problem with that if you operate in roads that are that are not good but none other than that there is nothing that i can say about that it's a very very good and stable car and also the wipers they clean the whole windscreen whereby you have no that here it has it, 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 it is not cleaned very well so uh, also what i can talk about here it's very beautiful at the back <laughs> it's a very very beautiful car just take a look at that spot how it looks so another thing is that uh, bad quality interior yeah <laughs> this is another problem if you are planning to buy a used one from Uganda here it's a must you get this let me show you this you take a look how it looks the quality of this material it's not a good quality it's very very bad just take a look the dashboard also is not that good material but at least this car this particular car operates in a in very hot climate so these cracks came due to lockdown that the lockdown that we had so that's why you see that that crack at the back here uh, we have no it should look like this not like that it should look like this so this i don't carry passengers at the back every time but other than that the seats are very very okay yeah and they are comfortable <laughs> yes and also they have your room like over there over there and then they are the other the other ones so uh, and another thing that i should talk about is that uh the rain guards these rain guards you will get a lot and a lot of problems <laughs> with these guys here yeah if you're a tall guy and the, and you break them every time for the passenger you know the passenger you carry different sizes of people short ones tall ones but for my side here <laughs> For my side over here mm. <laughs> i don't have any and you, but you can see the rabbits that it had the rain guards but i don't have any those rain guards hit my head <laughs> all the time they were there so i decided to remove them and also another thing is that uh, let me take a look here the engine so the this engine let me show you the engine yeah that's the mighty one g fe engine it makes 160 horsepower and also it is a very very reliable engine so if you are looking for a car to buy <laughs> to just enjoy every moment of your money this is the engine you should go for it has no problem 
once you give it the correct maintenance and uh, the correct service it is very very reliable yeah i have driven it for now three years yeah three years and I, and i have never ever been stuck on the road or towed yeah and it's a fast smooth engine so you you have you have your like it is quiet you are driving a normal car but at the same time a fast car yeah this is what you will be talking about so but and the other disadvantage with this that i hear in rumors i have never heard it is that uh this engine like if it starts to to come up with some issues you will not you will not need to repair it we will just have to replace the old engine whereby that's not a problem the engine is not that costly it's very very cheap to replace and also the the thing i that i had done for all these years is, is those timing belts and the air cleaner that's 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 regular maintenance and also oil and the spark plugs for once yeah and the the, the spark plugs i had a horrible <laughs> a horrible a horrible story about them so it just went i want another pair of spark plugs yeah it's a six cylinder for the fuel consumption it's very 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 efficient yeah it's an efficient car so let us uh get uh, in the inside and take a look how it looks like let me first start it up So they, they 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 look they look like that. They are very nice gauges. You see how low it how low it is the RPMs, and it's very very quiet. So with the interior, you have space here and then here and then also come here this seat is powered yeah and but the passenger one it's not you have space here you have also space here and then you also have space over here and uh, if you go to, to the other side by the way it's on <laughs> The engine it's on also you have space here for the passenger and also there this seat is not powered yeah as you see there it's not powered and uh, you have space here so it's a very very big space and also I think that's it. It's got the back. I have space here. The, <laughs> the passenger only has one one compartment here. There's no another one down here. So also that one. And then the armrest in the middle. And then you just then there is also that one so you can it can hold the cups at the same time yeah but don't drink and drive so um, uh, if we go ahead let me show you let me show you the boot so 
that's the boot you, uh, you have space here you have space here yeah to store some stuff that you need and also you have space here just give me a second I carry two spare tires along so you have to say nothing that I got stuck on the road yeah that's the space you have down there yes I have this this big spare tire and also the other one so it's roomy at the back and also the only thing I don't like about this car is that the tank is located over here whereby it's secure but at least they they would they would have put it down whereby the the person the person should have enough space to to access here yeah it's an 80 liter tank it's a petrol tank so yeah, let me take you in, inside once again yeah this is the interior and then this is just for the trip and then this to dim your dashboard yeah you first put the lights on and then you dim the dashboard so and also uh, USC controls are, are over here so uh, this is the TV you should you should check you should check uh, the the, vid, the the video of this TV how to operate this TV and then it has these modes over here there is this power mode and then the snow mode yeah so the power mode is meant for you yeah, like uh, if you want to red line over down over here or to have more response from the engine yeah you just press this power mode and then it turns green over there as you see so and uh it's vents and airbag over here there are no side airbags and uh the mirrors these these are the only this the, the driver one is the only that is auto automatic and uh also you have <laughs> let me talk about the handbrake so <laughs> then people get headache with this car so you see the handbrake is located over down down over there so and you remove from here so you should you should pull, you should push down and then it shows you over here but to, to 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 remove you just pull here and then it's off so <laughs> that gives a lot of people headache and also um the headlights are adjustable yeah this is the adjuster the the height if you want to adjust the height of the headlights you adjust it from here so your mirror controls so let me show you what i was talking about so take a look over that side that that side mirror even if you adjust from here like this you, you are not able to see the whole like the whole car at the back you are, you are only seeing the the behind door yeah but not the whole car that bothers me a lot so uh, the next thing I would like to show you is a uh, there is not any anything here <laughs> it's just a mirror but for the passenger mm, he or she was given pleasure for this light and the big mirror i don't know why this is racism <laughs> so the other thing is that 
let me first rev up this engine for you and you get the sound. Yeah, that's the roar of the 1D FE engine. And then the headlights are uh, auto. You have three steps. There is this first one, that's the, the parking, and then the headlights, and then the auto, the auto lights. So you just put it here on auto, whereby if you are driving, you are not bothered with putting on the headlights. They are just automatic. They put, they turn themselves on automatically when you get into the dark. So as per now, they are not even on. Let me show you. They are not on as you see. So if you come here and put them on. Yeah, that's the the third step. So, they are all xenon as you see. Can you come and help us, please? The headlights. Full. And then the fog lamps. Yeah, that's the full pattern. There's the dim. There's the dim. This is the dim, full, and then the fog. Yeah. So, let me show you once again the engine. Yeah, that's it. Let me rev it up. So, I think that's it for this video. Uh, we shall meet up next time when I'm bringing another car for you. Yeah, uh, this has been a wrong review, but I, I, I wanted to show you the full capacity, all the things that I know about this beautiful and gorgeous Mark II, and the ownership review. So. I think we shall meet until next time. Bye.